We are between games of the double header. Carson Spore leader, a sophomore, is with us. Welcome. This is kind of uh, old territory for you. You've done this before, but you're a member of our broadcast team this year, so it's good to see you. How is softball going for you in general? It's so fun. I am having a blast. The girls make it so much fun. The coaches are fun. I'm actually just really happy to be here. You know, that's something Sarah has said several times, what a great group this is to be around. It's and so uh, good. Yeah, and, and they, she uses the word mesh. You yes. mesh well. That's, uh, can you give me an example of what's that, what that's like on your team? Um, like yesterday, a ton of girls, they texted the group chat and they said, hey, everyone's going out to Crowder, let's go have fun. And they took a volleyball and stuff. I was sitting in my room doing homework, I'm going to be honest. I didn't even go. <laughs> but I know they had a blast out there. They were sending stuff to the group chat all day long. Like, that's good. Just a ton of fun. Yeah, yeah. Now, we were taping this on uh, Tuesday, and when we woke up this morning, snow covered the field, at least the grass part. And that's a constant thing in softball in the spring. Baseball, too, but for softball, uh, it's a constant thing. You've got to work around that all the time. Does that get yeah. frustrating, or what are your feelings um, on that? Sometimes it makes it fun. Like, this morning, we woke up to a text that there's snow on the field, and yesterday, we're sweating at practice in a short sleeve shirt. So, it's... That's just how it is in Missouri. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It is uh, that way in Missouri. All right, let's talk about softball. You have uh, been playing a lot of shortstop. Uh, yes. and, and And how is that? Is that your natural position? No, I am a catcher. I was a catcher all throughout middle school, high school, and stuff. Um, I had knee surgery my senior year of high school and came in and started playing second base last year. And this year I moved over to shortstop, and I absolutely love it. Right. Mm -hmm. Does that knee give you any problems at this point? Anymore, no, um, but it had all last year and in the fall it did. Right. But now I'm doing really good. How about the, the, the mental challenges of being a shortstop? How, how tough is it mentally? You know, as a catcher, it is more mentally tough, I think. You're okay. in the plays a lot more. But shortstop, I don't know. It's I love, like, I see the ball coming to me and I get that thrill and then I right. just... Right. Play, so. Okay, well, here's something that and I think a lot of people don't realize is that shortstops tend to make a lot of errors because they have a lot of balls hit to them. Mm -hmm. When an error occurs, how do you handle that inside your head? At first, I get really mad. I'm like, <laughs> dang it, that should not have happened. But you have to get over it because everyone else is relying on you. Everyone in the dugout's relying on you because they're not out there. Everyone else on the field's relying on you. Right and you get up to the plate and you can't just be like, oh, that one error. You know, you just right. have to get over it. I read an article one time about hitters and it's, or fielders rather, and it said the most important thing a fielder can do is focus on the time between pitches. Okay, in other words, what's your mind doing in between pitches? Carson, what's your mind <laughs> doing in between pitches? What are you thinking about? I'm looking at the runners, I'm looking at the hitter, I'm looking at what our pitcher is about to throw, I'm thinking, exactly what I'm going to do with it. I'm talking to the rest of my fielders. A lot goes on, actually. But yeah, you're involved a lot. Yeah, but yeah. also trying to just relax and keep it simple. Right. How about at the plate? How are things going for you this year? Um, I'm hitting in the three hole now, which is fine. I'm hitting really well, like really good contact, but I tell you what, they are making some really good plays right. on my, my hits, and it is frustrating because I should be getting on base more than Yeah, you know what we call that. those? Those are atom balls. They're right at them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. And that's a frustrating thing for a hitter, and uh, sometimes uh, you, you, you get let that get to you, but yeah. you can't because you want to hit the ball hard. Right. And I, I'm making solid contact, and right. I'm, I'm being choosy at the plate. You know, I'm getting walked a ton. So. Right. As a second-year player and as a, a kind of a speedy player, despite the knee, um, how does the base running? You enjoy base running? I love the, base running. Yeah, tell me about that. What's that like? I every time I'm on first base, I'm just waiting for Sarah to give me that signal to to steal, and sometimes she doesn't. Right. But I love running the bases. I see a hit, and I'm just ready to go. Right. That's fantastic. All right, let's move away from softball a little okay. bit. What are you studying in school? First of all. Um, here I'm just getting my transfer degree and a certificate in sport management. Um, but next year I'm going to be studying foods and nutrition to be a registered dietitian. Do you know where you're going? Northwest. Going to Northwest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any chance that you want to play uh, past North Central? I, it's tough. But I don't think I am. Right. I think I'm ready just to focus on school. Well, we've said this so often, you know, playing athletics in college is like having a job it in is. college. You, you have a time com commitment. You might put in more hours than somebody yeah. that has a nine-to-five job or maybe yeah. a part-time job. Um, so th you're going to go into nutrition and, and that kind of thing. Uh, what kind of position will that lead to? I want to work in sports. I want to be a sports dietitian. 
So I'm hoping, you know, I can, I want to work for like a college or a university or even like a pro sports team. That would be Oh, that'd amazing. be cool. Yeah. yeah, that'd be really good. Yeah. Okay, we'll change uh, the topic again one more time. Can you tell us a little bit about your family, please? Yeah, I have an older brother. He goes to Kansas State. He's going to graduate in May and then come back home. And then my two parents, we own two sale barns. And so, yeah. Right. Yeah. You work at the sale barns too, don't mm -hmm. you? What do you do? Well, typically I just work in the restaurant part of it for my mom. But sometimes on sale days, I, I help my mom clerk and do stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Sale. Well, that goes kind of back to your thoughts on nutrition, doesn't it? Yeah. Working in the cafe, I guess, a little yeah. bit. You've been around the food industry. Yeah. Um, what's been one of the main uh, positive points about being at North Central? The people. I love the people here. It feels like home. Yeah, yeah. Good place to end. Yeah. Carson Spore Leader is our guest between games. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to be around you, not only now, but uh, as uh, you've been around campus. We will be back. Game two is coming up in a moment. You don't have to do anything except just uh, uh, sit there and uh, let things roll on. We'll have the live action in game two. Thanks, Carson. And we will be back in a few minutes.